What's up, boys? Back out here. I've actually been out here, kind of just messing around. Been kind of busy. Got someone that's coming to pick up the 95 FD. Finally got spark plugs. It's been a nightmare. I was trying to look up the wrong part number. So every other spark plug from five until seven heat range is this part number. The BKR7ES11. So you can get the same exact thing, but instead of the seven, it's a five. Instead of the five, it's a six, or you can go to seven. But as soon as you jump up to eights, it's just E. You take the S off, which no one can get. It's like a Honda part number. That's all that's available. I ordered a set and it won't be here for like two weeks. So I'm going with a, a Iridium. And if you want these, it's the BKR8EIX. I rather run copper, but I just, you can't get them. Like no part store can even order them. So I'm gapping these at 18. I'll show you one of them in case you don't know how to gap. So like this, I got 18 thou. It's in there tight. I already did the back. These are gapped at like 30, 33 when you buy them new. See how much plays in there? Just use something soft. Like I got a piece of copper. Give it a couple of taps. Until 18 is tight. Like you gotta force it in there and slide it. And then you're good. Right there, 18. Or 23 or whatever you decide to do. Do that to all six. I'm gonna do these last front three. Also got new wires. I was trying to look for like eight mil or 10 mil wires. I cannot find any that I can get for a reasonable price in a reasonable time. So I'm just sticking with sevens, but this time I'm going with black because this gray wire has been driving me nuts. And yes, I still didn't get my tooth fixed, so I'm talking with a lisp. Keep making fun of me, I don't care. But yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. And then once I do all that, I think I'm going to take this valve cover off, take this time belt off one more time, see if there's any play in that dowel pin, just on those front ones. So right here, there might be a little bit of play that'll make up that fraction of a hair. Because if anything, these both need to go that way, just a fraction of a hair. So maybe if I break this loose, there might be just enough play so I can just move that just ever so slightly. Just because I'm weird and I want everything to be perfect, it would be fine it can run like that. I'll throw a picture up for you, the way it looks right now, but I want to take this valve cover all back off, bust these loose, see if I can move it just a hair. So I'll bring you back once I get all the spark plugs and everything done. Wires ran, and we take this valve cover back off. I'm back. I honestly don't know where I left off. Past few days have just been ridiculously dumb. I had a guy just, he's wasted like over three weeks of my life with the FD just down to like at 11 o'clock at night telling me he's not going to do the deal if I don't give him pictures of the paint chips. So I get up out of bed, go get him pictures of the paint chips. He drives supposedly eight hours to come look at the car. And then he flips out and says that it's not as advertised. The paint is not as good. I went through our text messages. I said eight times that the paint needed paint corrected or at least a good detail. I've had multiple people look at it and say that they could just buff it out. I just didn't want to pay the like 100, 200 bucks to buff it out because I'm selling the car cheap. So it's getting paint corrected right now and then I'm not gonna wiggle on the price because I'm going through all that. Whatever, but I, I don't want to be in a bad mood. This is gonna be a good day today. <laughs> I'm doing wires and I like to try to keep them all organized. So I do one at a time and then zip time together so you can get this whole like this thing. I don't have a cover, I'll end up getting one. But also same thing back here. You don't want just wires all over the place. I like to try to keep them in order. So I usually take one out, put it where it goes, and then start zip tying stuff together. That's what I do. And I went with black, even though it's the same size. I think I already talked about this. I just, I'm tired of seeing gray, which when I got these, that's all I could get at that time. These do fit a lot tighter than these. I don't even know what companies these are, but these like just sit on the, plug soft these actually like snap in good and hard that's what she said good and hard and there's no point in me recording this just run them and then if you want zip time like this zip time like that i gotta give it to import direct which is like o'reilly's brand i've never had plug wires this perfect of a length ever in my life i ended up only using one set of zip ties 
just right here around this corner but it's perfect length everywhere like there's not like I've never not had wires just have like an extra six inches like from any company that's just the perfect tuck like I'm not even gonna put zip ties up front because once I get a cover they're perfect yeah I'm happy with those now I got to uh, I think I'm gonna take this valve cover back off and see if I can move, adjust these gears on that uh, dowel pin a little bit I mean there's some play I mean that might be my little hairline gap let's break this other one loose and see where I'm at oh yeah that one's got a lot of play there's my problem right there like Jared said there's a little bit of play in these cogs let's take it off and double check but this one's got a lot of play in that cog oh yeah look at that there's no play in the stock one like I can't even get it to jiggle look at that I hope that's showing up on camera there's my hairline just for some crazy reason I must have got those ones perfect okay the battery died on the camera I can't really remember where I left off at these cogs the or the cogs the dowel pin there's play in there they both need to move towards the, the firewall and default if you're not holding any pressure they fall towards the front of the car so that's why these two are out by like a hair like me being able to move these this much is exactly how much play they're off but yeah dude that is perfect jared is the man i wouldn't ever even thought about that just playing this dowel pin is the gravity makes it rotate towards the front of the car which is the direction that they're off so when i tighten these down i kind of need someone here to help me i need to hold them tight towards the back of the car i need like a third arm if i can force these cam gears that direction as i tighten them i should get them in time perfect because the back ones are perfect which if they all need to go that way towards the back of the car that makes sense because gravity is pulling those ones that way so like if just the left side or the right side of all these cam gears are shaved a little bit I'm trying to explain this the best I can so if like just this right side is a little bit bigger than it's supposed to be gravity on the front would make these be off because it would hang on the side that's cut on the back then when it falls that way it's perfect my buddy's here I actually hear him dumping gravel right now so I'm gonna have him help me he doesn't like to be on camera I'll bring you right back okay I just want to bring you back one more time before I torque these down look at this that's for sure an eighth if not a quarter of a tooth so the fact that like the line always ended up being kind of like on the other side of this this still doesn't explain the gates belt situation but I'm just talking about like I'll throw the picture up right now what it looked like before with the with my OEM belt and then I'll show you afterwards that if I can get these just to move just ever so slightly that way timing marks will be on, dead on everywhere that's crazy how much play was in those like dowel pin areas I was thinking about putting something in there to hold it tight hopefully the bolt will hold these in place these like get tighter as they go because they spent you know what I mean so you are torque them down at 65 foot pounds it takes 90 to break them loose after you run it a few times I don't know what I would have put in there I kept thinking about it I'm like I should shove something in there like I thought about putting red loctite in there and I'm like yeah but that would just get pushed out of the way and red loctite wouldn't work I guess I could have put like a little BB of JB Weld in there but then I would have had to worry about a JB Weld into the cam and then if something ever happens with my cam gears or my cam I gotta buy both Let's uh, start putting it all back together. I'm going to go around, put silicone in all these corners like you're supposed to, put my valve cover back on, put it back in time, and see if we got any closer. We should have, especially on this front one, this exhaust one. There was a good amount of play in there. Look at that. Dude, that is like, now I'm just getting picky on which side of the arrows on which side of the dot. That one's pretty much dead on. That one's just hitting that corner of that tooth. You guys can't see. It's so hard to get this stuff to show up on camera. If you remember before with my stock belt, stock tensioner, stock 
pull these, I could get everything almost perfect. Like it was just, here I'll show you, I'll just roll it back a little bit. Last time, it was like that, which isn't even a quarter of a tooth back on the crank. That's what it looked like. Now that I got those dowel pins moved, when it's lined up perfect, which, I mean, any of that could be just variable here and there with anything. The degrees could be off a little bit, which I know a lot of you guys have said that you've gotten cam gears and they were off by a degree. I'm gonna have to figure all that out on the dyno. This valve cover, I could bust this all loose again. It's all torqued down properly, but I mean, you could move this a little tiny bit up or down. If I moved it down, it'd be one trillion percent right. So I could bust all these loose, pull this valve cover down just to where the bolts are. The back is perfect. I'll get my phone in there and get you guys a picture of it. Like, this is the best way to tell. There's markings on the back. Yeah, dude, that is on. That's in. It's good. All right, I'm just gonna start throwing this back together. I've checked this a hundred times. It's good. So, I've recorded taking this all apart, putting it all back together probably five times, if not more. I'm trying to make it to the dyno this week, coming up. Well, the week of this video that you guys are seeing. So, I gotta get this back together. Hopefully, Thursday's video will be me on the dyno. So, I'm just gonna turn up the music, turn the AC up, and just get to work. No point in me recording it, it'll just slow me down and I won't make it. Plus, like I said, I've recorded a bunch of times. I'll bring you guys back once it's running. Alright, I'm almost done. I just wanted to jump in here real quick while I'm doing this side motor mount. I have never, ever, ever been able to get this in without using my cherry picker. And I know people replace it all the time, like on the ground. How do you get it to line up without a cherry picker? Like you can't use a jack because there's nothing the jack to besides the oil pan. So when you do your timing belt, you get this off. If you don't have a cherry picker, leave it down in the comments. How are you supposed to get this line back up? Because if you get these tight, you're an inch and a half below. So you gotta pick up the whole mount. If you get it here, tight you're an inch and a half high you gotta pick the engine up but whatever i'm almost done we're about to start this thing see you in a second i probably should have added coolant before i put everything back together i'm not even gonna lie to you so i could see if it was just pouring out of somewhere but i want the dice on that yeah i can't even see down there i don't hear anything I've gone over this thing a thousand times. Let's see how it starts. I gotta reset my throttle. Alright, cross your dicks. Dude, AFRs are great. But I'm leaking oil. I don't see any coolant. Where's my oil pressure at? Alright, I still got good oil pressure. This oil cooler line's kind of just pouring out oil right now. I know why. Because when I uh, dropped the engine, that was resting on the frame. So I gotta get another hand line. Hopefully it's just that and I didn't crack my oil filter housing. I'm so stupid. I was just rushing trying to get this done. And when I took that motor mount out, it dropped down on that oil line. Because I even said that to myself when I was down there doing the timing. I was like, I don't remember this oil line touching the frame. Well, that's what happened, it broke it. Hopefully it just broke the AN line. But it's leaking out pretty good. I don't wanna let this thing run too long. AFRs are great. They started at 11, immediately went to 12, then 13, now they're sitting at 14. I just wanna get up to operating temperature and let that uh, water pump seal. But at the same time, I'm sitting here leaking oil. My oil pressure's good though. Yeah, my oil pressure's all right. I'm not gonna rev it or nothing. O2 control isn't overworking too much, it's about 3%. Dude, I am excited. I'm ready for the dyno boys. I just want this thing to hit 170 so I know that oil pump or that water pump sealed. It's at 165. If you made it this far, don't forget to hit the like button, 
subscribe if you're not subscribed. This whole car rebuild, restoration, restoring, whatever you want to call it, is on my YouTube channel. If you're new, go check it out. Next video, I should be at the dyno. I'm gonna fix the AN line. I've already recorded doing that once. I'm not gonna do it again. Fix the AN line, we're going to the dyno, baby. I'm now hoping for 600 with these camp gears. Leave it down in the comments what you guys think. See ya. <laughs>